guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really good. First of all, if you hear any loud banging, I apologise. I hope the audio doesn't pick it up. It is my neighbours upstairs. Um, I think they've got some little kids running around or something. Also, if I seem out of it or just not as fun and hyper or whatever as usual, I've just finished work. <laughs> I do 12 hour shifts and I've also got a migraine and I've got about, I'd say, an hour and 45 minute window gap before I start vomiting. <laughs> Such a fun, lovely thing. But I honestly couldn't wait to do this video. I have been watching these unboxings for months. I, I've been on a waiting list for so long and it's finally happened. And I just couldn't wait anymore. <laughs> you guys, I have been on a waiting list for months. I have been watch binge watching videos all the way back until 2018. And it finally arrived. <laughs> Today. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's why I couldn't wait. I would usually have like my bookcase. This wouldn't be my usual setup. I would usually have my bookcase. I would have done it in daytime rather than now when the sun is set and I've got like a tiny bit of blue sky left and that's about it. But I just couldn't wait you guys. I just... Alright let's get into it. First of all, I love the box. First impressions, like I've seen so many videos, they do so good. I really wish they didn't go as Hermes. <laughs> In the UK as a delivery parcel, I have had nothing but bad experiences with Hermes. Everyone I know don't like Hermes, like, they're not the best company. They're not the best company. But let's just get into it, I've got, I found some scissors. These aren't the right scissors, they're fabric scissors. I know I shouldn't use them for this. But guys, I'm so tired. <gasps> right, okay. Is there any more sense over there? See, now, okay. This is why, that right there, is why no one likes Hermes. They do not care. There are memes and gifts and all this on the internet because Hermes will just throw and kick the packages. They don't care. This is why I don't like Hermes. They're not the best. They don't do good. So... First look at the very first box I've ever opened from Very <laughs> Right, I'll let you guys see it first. So this is July 2021. Like? <gasps> oh, I love the box. I'm gonna I might have to turn the, I'm gonna have to turn the box inside out and keep it as a storage thing, but oh my god, you guys. Oh, okay, so I know that this is the like cheat card, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Is this the cheat card? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, yes, I think this is the cheat card, but it is absolutely stunning, you guys. Oh, it just is so beautiful. Yes, it's a spoiler card. I see the words now. Can you tell I am so tired? <laughs> Right, so this is a spoiler card. It is absolutely stunning. I might have to keep this. Well, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep all of them, but like, I mean, like, on my wall, keep it. Oh, right, okay, so this is the first look we get. First of all, I love that they're using wiggly worms. I love it. I'm so happy. But I like it when companies do this. Right, so I'm just going to grab the first thing I saw. Which is the book sleeve? Oh my god, you guys, look how stunning this is. I mean, just, just look at it. Look how beautiful it is. It's this lovely leather te 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 leather texture. Just look how beautiful it is. 
and it's got a zip at the top as well. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to see if I can show you. Like, can you see that fabric? It's so soft. The books are going to be kept so safe and well in this. I'm in love. I'm so happy. I'm in love. I'm so happy. I, was <laughs> I wish I was going to repeat that. Right. I know that a lot of their items are like in reference to books. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am way too tired to try and figure it out. That may sound bad. I'm sorry. I'm just really tired. But we're just going to keep jumping through and I'll read the spoiler card and all that. Okay, so first of all, the next thing I saw was this tin. This is the lid. Like how beautiful that is. And it's just, it's like, there's like a mountain view range and then there's like a moon and the stars. And I am a massive empath and what it says on it is so true. Be glad of your human heart. Pity those who don't feel anything at all. That's by Sarah J Maas. It's a quote from Sarah J Maas. Okay, that is, I just pulled off the top bit and that's what it's come up with. Let's look at it together. Is it coming out? It's like a little tin, that's so cute. Oh, I am keeping this. This is going on my bookshelf. It's going on my bookshelf. I'm sorry, it's going on my bookshelf. Oh. Fairy Lou, I'm in love. You can have my money for the rest of my life. I don't care. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to dig around. <laughs> the first thing I saw, the first thing I saw, Cinderella is dead. <laughs> Crew socks. So they've given us a pair of socks in this one, which I'm guessing is Cinderella based. I, oh, I'm, they're really in Disney. I'm just a bit, oh, oh, Disney. Talking about Disney, I was watching Robin Hood just a second ago. Look how stunning these socks are. And they're so soft as well. Like these are gonna be really cozy and I'm I'm so excited. I can't wait. Fairy Loot. Look how like look how beautiful they are. And they're so soft and so cozy. I'll hold them closer so you guys can see that the pattern, but like Look how stunning that all is. I am so happy. I love this. This is my first box. This is great. Oh, I've never, I had a subscription box before, not book related, but by far very, from what I've seen of your YouTube videos of people unboxing stuff of just this experience. You're amazing. You're so amazing. Like, this is so good. Okay, so the next bit is an umbrella and it's got like cards all along it. And I'm not going to lie, it's giving me like Alice in Wonderland vibes. It's bad luck, isn't it? It's bad luck, isn't it, if I was to open this? You know what, I'm already ridden with bad luck. So, fuck. we're doing it. <laughs> we are doing it. <laughs> if I can manage to, that is. Oh my God, look how beautiful that is. Honestly. All I have going through my brain right now is we're painting the roses red, we're painting the roses red. That's all I have in my head. Right, let me just do this back up. And it has like a little cover as well, which I think is quite cute. Like, it comes with like a little cover and everything. 
I'm just going to get it back in. Why did I do this and make it hard for myself? Because it's me, it's what I always do, it's all I ever do. It's all I ever do is make life hard for myself, apparently. I love this and it's great because I don't actually own an umbrella so I need one. <laughs> sort of just put up with being wet most of in, most of the year in England. Squigglies. Right. So at the very bottom of the box. <gasps> That's all that. But when I lifted this up. When I lifted the book up, this was underneath, and I believe, like, I know that they do monthly artworks, but oh my good god, you guys, look how beautiful and stunning this art is. Look how beautiful it is. I can't get over it. I mean, just look at it. It's so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. This is going on my wall for definite. This is going on my wall. It's being framed. I. It's going in my house someday. <laughs> when I own a house, I don't yet, but when I do, it will be. <laughs> okay, so the other few things that were underneath the book were the tarot cards. And they are absolutely gorgeous. This really is giving off like Alice in Wonderland vibes, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know, I, it's probably not. It's probably just because the umbrella I got there in the end. It's probably because the umbrella, but for some reason I feel like that's the Mad Hatter and then that could be Alice, but I don't know. It's probably not, but it's just, that's the feeling I'm getting. Alice in Wonderland, it's most likely not, I just, I just love Alice in Wonderland, to be honest. But yeah, these are absolutely beautiful tarot cards. I wish I had the full collection. These ones, so this is Queen of Wands, and this one is King of Wands. So they're very, I love these. They are beautifully stunning. They are beautifully stunning. And now onto the bit I am most excited for. So I need to pick up all of this week. Right, I think I picked up all the squigglies, so now it's just on to the book. <laughs> Feeling it's a hardback, I'm very excited. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna feel around because I know I've seen enough videos to know that there are things in here before that you get before looking at the book. I think that's everything. Okay, so guys, fairy loot. This artwork, like, come on. I won't have enough wall space for all of this. So, I believe this is the letter from the author. It's some beautiful artwork, like, beautiful fairy scoop for next month and this is the bookmark I believe and it's just the same as the um spoiler card but it's absolutely stunning I'm so happy with it I'm so excited to start like collecting things right I don't know I just saw the edges <laughs> right I'm gonna let you guys look first oh it's upside down Oh my god. Okay, so it's the six crimson cranes. Yes, six crimson cranes by Elizabeth Lim. Look how beautiful this cover is. A prince in exile, a shape-shifting dragon, six enchanted cranes and an unspeakable curse. It will take more than magic to find their way home. And you guys look at the edge. Oh my god. <gasps> 
I do, oh, and purple is my favourite colour. Look how beautiful this is. I don't own books this fancy. I'm, very, I'm in a lot of shock. Signed by the author. Okay, so I'll read like the bit on the inside. Shiori Anma, the, okay, I'm not going to be able to pronounce things right. Shiori Anma, the only princess of Kiata, has a secret. Forbidden magic runs in her veins, and on the morning of her betrothal ceremony, Shiori loses control. At first, her mistake seems like a stroke of luck, forestalling the wedding she never wanted, but it also catches the attention of the Raikama, her stepmother. A sorceress in her own right, Raikama banishes the young princess, turning her brothers into cranes and warning Shiori that she must speak of it to no one. For with every word that escapes her lips, one of her brothers will die. Penniless, voiceless and alone, Shiori searches for her brothers and uncovers a dark conspiracy to seize the throne. Only Shiori can set the kingdom to rights, but to do so she must place her trust in a paper bird, a mercurial dragon, and the very boy she fought so hard not to marry. And she must embrace the magic she's been taught all her life to contain, no matter what it costs. Okay, I know there's artworks on the back. So. Okay, I just looked at the book. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to. Right, you know what? I'm too excited. I'm gonna take the cover off completely and show you guys the artwork before I show you the book. This is the artwork. It is absolutely beautiful. Fairy Lou, I am shooketh. This is just stunning. Okay, and now, you guys. <gasps> okay, I know the books look beautiful with their covers on and off. But come on, Fairy Lou. Like, look how beautiful this cover is. And look at the spine as well. Oh, Fairy Lou. You're giving me fancy books and I don't know how to feel about it. But this is gorgeous, you guys. I am in so much love with this box. Fairy Lou. I am never unsubscribing to you. <laughs> I thank the person that did to give me this spot, but I am never giving this up. This is just too gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. Look at how gorgeous this book is in all of its glory. I can't th it's a very late thank you so much. I can't. I am exhausted from a day and I'm overwhelmed now and I'm just um I'm 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 in disbelief at how stunning these books are. I have seen them online but when they're like when you're holding them when they're actually yours I whoa, I don't know what to do. I I don't know how to feel. It's just so gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know what to do. But yeah, okay, so that's a quick look at the spoiler card. So, yes, so the umbrella was inspired by Alice in Wonderland. So it was inspired by an Alice in Wonderland retelling The Heartless of Marissa Meyer. Carry it with you just in case of unexpected summer rain. I just need it for unexpected rain. It's the UK. We, we need it. <laughs> Right, so, we're so happy to present you with our new book sleep. Uh, so, it features artwork by none other than the amazing Rosie Thorns, and the piece features main characters from the Blood and Stars duology by Elizabeth Lim. I have not read that, but I want to now. So, oh, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. We just had to include an item inspired by one of the most known YA retellings. 
A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. This gorgeous tin is, was designed by the talented Chatty Nora. It says, can you spot the wings? Which I'm guessing it's referencing the wings on the inside. Look how gorgeous, I can't get over this you guys, look how gorgeous this is. Oh, I'm gonna end this video here guys because I really need to get to bed because I'm working the next two days, 12 hour shifts again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I know I'm not major yourself. I'm just tired, but like, I hope this is amusing to you at some point. This is me wrapping up, you guys. I've got to get to bed now. I hope you all stay safe. Have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you next time. Bye guys.